Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the time given the average speed and distance. We have this problem here. A car travels at 62 miles per hour for a distance of 254.2 miles. Let me just make that clearer. Determine how long it takes in hours and minutes. Now from the previous video, do you remember that we had this formula, speed is equal to distance over time that relates speed, distance and time. And we had another way of looking at this which was a speed distance time triangle and that's just a helpful way of looking at this formula. And the way it works is this, if we put a line here that's saying that the speed is the distance over the time because can you see that distance is above time in this little diagram. But we could also put the line somewhere else in this triangle. So if we wanted to find time, which is what we want to do here, determine how long it takes, in this triangle, if we put the line here instead, can you see that now time is distance over speed, because the D is above the S. So we could rewrite this formula as time is equal to distance over speed. So we've made time the subject to the formula. So let's see what values we've got here. We've got a speed of 62 miles per hour. And we want to find the time in hours and minutes. We've got a distance of 254.2 miles. So if we just shove that into the formula, we get time is equal to the distance, which is 254.2 miles, over the speed, which is 62 miles per hour. Let's put that on our calculator. And that gives you 4.1. And let's think about the unit. This is a miles per hour, and that's in miles. So we can see what per hour here. So this has got to be in hours. But we want this in hours and minutes. You might think it's going to be 4 hours and 10 minutes or something like that. But it doesn't quite work like that. Now, there's two different ways you can convert this to hours and minutes. One way is to actually use a special key on the calculator. So if you've got your 4.1, if you press this key here, it's got like a sort of degree symbol and some apostrophes and stuff. If you press that, it actually converts it for you to four hours and six minutes. So this is four hours and six minutes. Now, if you don't have that key, you can still work this out because we've got 4.1 hours. Now, 0.1 as a fraction is a tenth. So it's four and a tenth of an hour. Now, what's a tenth of an hour? Well, an hour is 60 minutes. So therefore, a tenth of an hour is a tenth of 60, which is six minutes. So even without this key, we can convert from the decimal form to the fractional form and then get the number of hours and minutes.